Hello, my name is Angelique. Welcome to Don Sinclair. Today, I'm interviewing um, lovers rock legend Winston Reedy. Welcome. Hey, we. The man who held the title of Britain's best reggae act for three years in a row. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> nice to do that. Tell me, what age did you get into music? Um, kind of young still, because um, my my father played the guitar and he always playing guitar. Um, you know, he said he's good, but he's sort of average, like you know. What I mean? But <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Uh, my mum is a great singer, so she always singing gospels after gospels after gospels. So I kind of get it from like from a younger age, but I actually start singing when I get to England, around about six to seven, around about them time there. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what inspired you to become an artist? Was it your family background? Uh, it was a friend. Just a well boy, he sound like he can sing. So I got a little band. The band is called Express, and I would like you to um to to join them, be a vocalist. And um, that's where that's where I started, like going into the music, okay. and it lasted about two years, and then I joined a band called the Simmerons, which um, was a was a veteran band from from back in the days. They used to be like the band that, you know, artists when the artist comes up from Jamaica, they come to the Simmerons because the Simmerons like know the thing. You know, I'm talking about Stranger called Ken Boot, you know, Ape Tones, Bob Marley. Peter Tosh, the whole lot used to come to Simran's house for the for the vibes because that's where the vibes was. Okay, okay, the days, okay. Yeah, yeah, man. So going back lots of years, what was the first single that you bought? The first single that I bought, um, you know what? I, mm, I can't really remember now. You know. Okay. Let, what 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 is your favorite album by another artist? Then my favorite album is. Um, Doesn't have to be a reggae artist. No, my favorite album is Black Heart Man. Is by it? Bonnie Wheeler, okay. Black Heart Man. Because uh, even, even though I like Lover's Rock and Lover's Song, but I'm a, I'm a Roots man. I love Roots music. So those are the kind of music we used to play, like the Burning Spear, Marcus Garvey, um, Black Heart Man, you know, Michael Prophet album that he had on the island. Those were the music. Conscious music. Yes, man. People with something to say. You know that. Okay, okay. Mm. Um, what artist would you like to work with? I know you've worked with Benny, but what artist would you like to work with and why? Well, I always said, back in the day, I always said I would like to do something with Peter Tosh because I, I think he's, a, he's just one of those magical men there. Yeah. You know, but unfortunately, he's not there. So I have to go book him up in the next life. <laughs> Over so. Have a party in heaven. Have a party, yeah. <laughs> For real. Um, what was the last event that you played at? Uh, the last event that I played at, you caught me out there. I uh, think it was uh, the last event, but I think it was a drum in Birmingham, Legend of Legend. Okay. Yeah, in Birmingham. Okay, okay. Which is a Lover's Rock, you know, second part of the Lover's Rock team. It's a good event because they come every, every year, every two years, and it's always nice and airy up there. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, in your career to date, what would you say has been the highlight? Um, in the studio because I love studio. I could eat, sleep, do everything in the studio because the studio is like the place where we create everything. So I spend most of my time in there. You know. Okay. What are your top three genres of music? Not including reggae. Not including reggae. Soul, a bit little sprinkler jazz, and pop. And pop. Pop. Okay. What? Well, who are your favourite pop bands? Me like bands. the Beatles and <laughs> the Rolling Stones. And what about anybody new and up to date? Well, um, to be honest with you, they're nice, you know. I mean, like most pe most young artists now, um, the only thing is that they want to get more a bit more um, a bit more musical. Now, so they're very good, but they just need to, the music is a bit, mm, but the artists themselves are very good. I think we need some slightly better producers to bring out the, the talent. Yeah. Okay. You know, too much. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Okay. What other jobs have you done other than being a performer, singer? Well, um, back in the days, I'm a professional dry cleaner. I could go into a shop, turn on everything, da -da -da -da, and get your suit all nice and crisp. 
Okay. Um, I know you write a lot of your own music. Yeah. Describe a real life situation that has inspired you. Well, I get inspiration from um from you know like various things. You know, I could hear a bird sing and I say I like that tune there. You know? something that's profound. What's yeah. profoundly spoken to you that's in encouraged you to to write a song? Well, I was a dream. Most of my songs, them. Like me go to bed and me wake up singing them, and you know. Next thing you know, you, you sort of wake up in the night with, with me, with me and, and, and write down something because if you wake up in the morning, you're not going to remember. You sort of write it down and, you know, it's sort of, I'm like, I'm afraid, man. I like pick up from various things. I'd like to be able to do that with the lottery numbers. Um, <laughs> if you could go back in time, what would you do differently if you would do anything differently? Uh, I don't think I'd do different, you know. I'd be more conscious, though, but I'd be more or less the same way. More aware of... of yeah, okay. more aware, but same style. Okay, okay. Um, what do you do in your spare time? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Watch Leicester. <laughs> yeah, title holders. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is the first song that you ever remember hearing? Um, Simmer Down by Bob Marley and the Whalers. Okay, all right. Then. Yeah. Did that speak to you? Yeah, it did. Because um, first of all, I wanted to be a saxophone player. But when I heard Simmer Down, I said to myself, you know, I think my, I think my, my, my dad is right. I think I'll be, I'll be a singer because I just love Bob Weiser. Okay, as do we all. Um, what song of yours are you most proud of and why? Well, I like some of them, most of them. But Dennis Brown said to me one day that Message to Father is my best tune. So, um, I mean, Dennis Brown. Oh, I can't argue with the Crown Prince, can no. you? No, no, you can't. So, um, but I like, I like, but my favorite, one of my favorite songs is Daughters of Zion because the reason why Daughters of Zion is my favorite song because that's my first, like, you know, number one record in the reggae chart that people really, you know, I mean, you should go to dance and dancing with, with a girl and she's singing the song and, and you're joining to say, you sound just like the record, you know, <laughs> why do you be a, be a singer? You know, so that really, you know, give me a good vibes. I love Daughters of Zion too. Yeah, man, big tune. Um, if other than the people that you're with now, if you could get any musician, living or dead, who would be in your dream band? Um, Sly on the drums, because I think he's a he's a, he's a wonderful, wonderful um, drummer. Um, Jackie, me too. Obviously, he's the greatest on keyboards. Um, I think I would have Rita Marley singing, Rita Marley and Marcia Griffith singing, singing, Tim the lights and the lights don't look. And uh, there's, there's so many great musicians, but, um, you know, people like, people like those, I really like to, you know, have in you know, a band with. Okay. What genre of music can't you stand? What really, like, hurts your ears? Um, modern jazz. Okay, I can it's a bit too fast. I rather, you know, prefer the old, old time mm -hmm. jazz. Okay, if you could dabble in another genre, what would it be? Um, yeah, but reading and blues. Okay, okay. Some like that. What else can we expect from you in the future? Have you got big things happening? Yeah, we got some some big things going on. Um, right now, I'm working some some other new producers. Like Mas Massey Production, Masai Jude, along with Skitla B. I got something with Room in the Sky. We've been working f for a long while, Room in the Sky. And um, I got a new setup in Jamaica. Uh, they, they, they do a new version of the old Dimmed Light. Okay. Which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little sneak preview of today. Can't wait. And um, Dean Fraser and Hans and, you know. Okay. So it's looking good. Good. Good luck with it all. Great. What are your fondest musical memories? My fondest musical, musical memories. memories. Things that you look back over and they make you smile. I think telling Michael Jackson that you was bad. <laughs> and two years after you made a bad album. I think, I think that's... Um, I look back and I say, where's my royalty? I gave him the idea. <laughs> but, you know, you know, you know, he was a nice guy. Okay, okay. Um, do you get nervous before performance? Sorry? Do you get nervous before a performance? Yeah, I do. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking now, but I'm really nervous inside. And how do you deal with that? Just grab the mic and start singing. 
Okay, so how do you handle mistakes when you join a performance? Mm. I don't make mistakes. No, no, not really. Um, you sort of take, take no notice of it. You just carry on. Like you do. Um, what advice would you give to up-and-coming musicians, people that want to break out into the industry, like you said, to be more aware for yourself if you could go back in time? What, what advice would you give the youngsters? Well, first of all, you have to um, know, what you, know where you're going. No sort of music you really want to do because it, it it you might start off with something and then an next person come to you and say, "Boy, you sound better that way." You know, I think you better. So you got to know what you want, really. How do you want to see yourself in that twenty, thirty years? Okay. You know, or people, who, you know, people will remember you from. That's what. You, first of all, you want to know where you're going. What do you think of the younger musicians, the music that they're putting out now? It's great music, but um, as I said, the lyrics a bit, you know, could a bit better clean up clean up and uh, more more um more sensible but um they're, they're all they're good talent to be honest with you okay so uh, the young ones and out now who who would you say your favorite um i think my daughter christina reed but she don't want to be a singer she um she wants to be something else she says she, i can't take this hunger belly music business you know because <laughs> you know what i'm saying um I, I need to take some money for my house and thing and boy it's too much work you know but um, no, I like I like most, you know, most of the things that's going on now, you know. But as I said, it just needs to be a bit, bit more better production. Okay, um, how do you balance your musical life and um, your normal life, your home life? I don't. So how do they work together? They just work. Well done for you. Um, do you have a message for Don Sinclair about the work he's doing and promoting artists? Yeah, man, I'm doing a wonderful job here, man. Um, you know, we welcome things like this, you know, because um, back in the days, um, most of the, the, especially the reggae artists, them didn't get an opportunity to um, really, I mean, you've been hearing a lot of records, but you don't even know what the artists look like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's a good thing. So people can, um, so people can say, oh, and that him look like him ugly. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's good. Okay, okay. Well, thank you. Um, on behalf of myself and Don Sinclair, many thanks for your time. Um, Respect every time. It was a pleasure, big pleasure to meet with you. Um, is there anything that you would like to say to your fans? Well, big up to all the fans them out there and um, keep the music alive and um, support the music the same way. You know, respect to each and everyone. Blessed love for my man Winston Reed. Stay with me until the end of time. Respect. Thank you. My name is Angelique. Um, this has been Don Sinclair. Thank you and I hope to see you again. Bye.